So I live a weird life, right? I, I play football manager for a living. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. I live a weird I'm life. I'm insane, man, but, but I'm not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, I get a message from a dude who, when I was younger, I watched play for the U.S. national team and used to talk to my friends about like, oh, like this, this guy's going to be great for us and so on and so forth. And he was able to get it into the U.S. national team for some time. And then all of a sudden pops up in my DMs uh, saying, you know, he plays football manager. And uh, this just continues this weird life because I've still I've never been recognized in public for being for like YouTubing or streaming or anything. But I get a message from Terrence Boyd. OK. Uh, and he agreed for some reason to join me from a hotel room in Germany. And so Terrence is here and probably plays football manager more than I do. You're you're one of us in terms of the addiction to just playing the game. Yeah, 100%. So um, yeah, the, the same uh, the same way you, you feel about me, I feel about you, man. Like when I first got into like, you know, Twitch and all that and saw you and then it was very interesting. And then like, you being like a, a big figure on my Twitter feed when it, in terms of football manager and then like, uh, so you're a big name for me. It's funny, seriously. And um, so I enjoy like watching your videos or like, you know, uh, seeing what this guy is treat tweeting about football manager. And then, uh, yeah, it's funny. It's a, it's a, it's a funny, funny, it's a small world. Yeah. I don't even know how to react to that, dude. But you're like, oh yeah, yeah I follow. It's the, love, it's the love for football manager. It's crazy. It's such a big addiction, man, which is ruining all our lives. And um, <laughs> uh, we just talked about it. I got, I'm married for two years and I promised her already three times that we're going to delete it or not play it as long as she's awake. And I failed every time. And um, yeah, so I'm, as of right now, I'm still married. So, <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go from here. <laughs> as long as she, as long as she understands, you know. But this is this is a thing I notice. I this is something that when you do a YouTube channel, you get like the behind the scenes, right? And so I get the analytics. Ninety nine point, I think it's like ninety nine point three percent of the people that watch my videos are guys. Like that's the analytics yeah. on it. And so it's uh, I yeah, I just there not a lot of. Not a lot of sure. wives into it. Yeah, I, it's hard to it's hard to explain. But it actually has been cited in 35 divorces in the UK. It's like yeah, a reason. I read reason. about it. Yeah. It's like and the... I was like, dude, man, don't mess it up. You can't be the next one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh, it's so hard, man. Seriously, it's such... It's like... I think I need therapy for it. It's crazy. It's crazy. I should because start... <laughs> Well, just, you know, I, what I used to do is I would have it in class and I would just have it on in the background. Yeah. And so I would like, I would do these other things and then I hit continue. And in my whole, my whole life I'm thinking about, and then I'm just going to hit continue again. And then I go like, take the trash out, hit continue, like make dinner and I'm hitting continue. Yeah. I just put in these thousands of hours because it's just always open. Like it's open on my computer right now. I don't even know why. Same with me in the background. <laughs> just Yeah, I, I won't close it. Why? <laughs> no, but somehow if we can uh, to talk about just your career in general because i find it very fascinating for for a couple of reasons you've been on the high side of things you've been on the low side of things but i think as a way to start um you're obviously a high level professional soccer player which Not is anymore, my friend. Well, I'm 38, so come on no i no, i know but look you you have u.s national team caps i know that I, I've torn my ACL too. I know what that does to you. And then you end up, uh, but you, you were a high level, like top international level soccer player. At what point when you were growing up, did you realize for the first time that that was something that was possible? To become pro? Yeah. Well, not just pro, but I mean like national team level pro. Uh, so, yeah. So when I came into the Academy of Hertha Berlin, I was like 17, 18 years old, and um, I used to play for like local or like regional clubs before, and then I got like scouted at like a national tournament. And um, so, boom, I'm, I'm in the Bundesliga setup, right? In the academy, and uh, everyone is like a youth national team player besides me, and like, I'm even sitting on the bench, not even starting nothing. And um, so you're just grinding to get there, you know, like do like your extra work and everything. And then um, after that, I went to the reserve team of Borussia Dortmund. That was in the midst of those two consecutive championships, the, the pro scout. And um, 
So I was in the reserve team. Was actually one, once on the bench in the Bundesliga, but your club didn't bring me. He didn't sub me in on a 5-0 uh, home win. I was so pissed. <laughs> Crazy. Unreal. I was so pissed, man. And then, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, um, the scout of, uh, of of the national team, he he talked to my agent and said, yeah, you might might uh, start learning uh, how to speak Italian because you might get called up for, for the Italy game. I was like, shut up, man. Like, I'm, in the, I'm a reserve team player. I play in the fourth league in Germany. Come on, man. And uh, before that, I played the... Um, was it before that? No, I was... By that time, I was like on a 20 national team player. And, uh, but it was like, come on, like I'm a new reserve team, right? And then, yeah, Jürgen called me up. It was unreal, unreal because me being a reserve team player and then all of a sudden uh, I get subbed in and a historic win in Italy, 1-0. And um, first thing I did was like, just, uh, I just knocked out uh, Perlo and he was on the floor and this, this guy was laying on the floor like this, like, Like, come on, man, who the f are you, man? Like, why, you, just, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm just like, you know, like when you get subbed in, your pulse is always like, you just, <laughs> especially if it's your first cap, right? And um, and I was like, just like, oh, I, I'm so sorry, I'm a big fan, man. I'm so sorry that I helped him get up. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. And then after that, um, the first caps with the national team and, um, Herzog, Andreas Herzog was the was the assistant coach for the national team, and he uh, actually told Rapid Vienna he used to play for them. He told them that uh, I might be a good suit for them. And the next year, I went to Rapid Vienna, and um, since then, I I was officially a professional. And um, yeah, since then, for that time, I was up until the World Cup. I was a uh, um, yeah, I was um, called up for the U.S. national team, and that's where you like where it started clicking. Okay, boom. I'm here, you know, like a few years ago, uh, you know, you were on the bench in the academy and, you know, just like trying to just make it somehow. And then it all happened so fast. But um, yeah, fortunately, I didn't make the World Cup roster. And then, um, yeah, went went up, up, up. And then there was the, the World Cup that I was not uh, getting called up. I went to Leipzig, Red Bull Leipzig. Uh, then I tore my ACL, was out for one and a half years, almost retired because I had like, complications with a Baker cyst. And um, yeah, since then it was just boom and now I'm here. So what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was just this like fly so close to the sun tackling Pirlo exactly. and then the the knee. Uh, How did how well, did it's, the... not just, it's, it's not just a knee that, that would be too easy. I mean, um, it was just like when I came back from the from the uh, from the injury and uh, I was a down start and uh, well, I didn't produce, I didn't score as much as I, I was hoping and the club would and would have. And then I went to Toronto, uh, didn't work out as well. I, I just played bad, like I didn't play well. Uh, that was not just unfortunate because i didn't feel comfortable but um you need like as a strike you need the uh first of all you need self-esteem right but like you need the trust of your coaches you know what i mean and if you like play one game you're on the bench next game that's uh it keeps messing with your head and um but i didn't produce so it's no no excuses it's not just a knee injury alone it's just like i have a score that I, like performed well so um And now I'm back in the third league and I'm um, enjoying soccer. I got two two kids now, so I consider myself a full-time dad, part-time <laughs> football <laughs> pro, and uh, also a full-time football manager, but without getting paid. So shout out to Mats Jacobson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Miles. Just, uh, no. I've been doing the same thing for a long time. I even have the... Uh, hold on, dude. I've got that wig. What, with I, his hair? Yeah, yeah. Uh, here, tell me if oh I look like Miles God. right here. <laughs> right Dude, i feel like oh, that's funny man. Uh, yeah. yeah i feel like he has oh, he has need that one <laughs> yeah okay Dude, i'll send you one we can try and bother him into talking to us or something but there's like two reactions he has to that he either thinks that's really funny or he's sitting there like oh it's just it's just ridiculous i can't believe it. yeah but i think like based on his tweets and everything i, I wrote with him a couple of times as well uh i think he's a fun dude it's just like obviously if the whole world um i'm just talking about the fm world but if everyone is like you know like going after you when's the game gonna get released and this and that and like come on man just and he but he it's his own fault because he's responding to everybody to everyone it's crazy like yeah. every time you hear like hey if you got a problem go to steam community this and that 
and um he didn't he don't even have to right yeah he's he's in so much like uh yeah put on so much stress it's crazy but this 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 guy is the godfather man <laughs> this Now, game uh, this year too yeah. Like you're, if you're on FM21, like the match engine just, it feels so much better this year. I've oh. loved this year's game. It's still, yeah. it always gets hate, right? But I've, I think this is probably the best one in a long time, honestly. Yeah, to be honest, I don't even like um, every, every manager, I feel like kind of surprised that like they changed the game. You know what I mean? Because he said it himself, like, I uh, don't expect like the same manager again, because then it would just be an update, right? Like then you have a whole different interface and like the way you set up the tactics and this and that, or like the little tweaks you didn't have before. And um, so it's all, it's, it's very exciting. The first, the first uh, like hours you just, you know, play the new game every year. It's, uh, it's crazy how much work they got to put in. It's unreal. Yeah, I feel bad for the guy that designs the match engine. His name's Nick Madden. And I've talked to him a few times and that's got to be the most thankless job because it's so hard to create a natural is something's going to end up looking stupid at some point and then somebody's going to lose the league because of it. Yeah, but then again, this is the beauty of it. Like when we talk about v uh, uh, VAR right now, right? And like back in the days, the Wembley goal, for example, wouldn't have happened today, right? And um, that's the beauty of it that like those it's not even mistakes, but those things that happen where you get like either like super excited or you want to like, you know, throw away your computer. That's what makes it so fun. So, uh, yeah, the only thing is the, you know, if you play like me, I play possession based game. And like if you're in front of the goal and he doesn't like do a square pass to the striker and just keeps shooting from, you know, the it's yeah. it's common. <laughs> Shooting from the, from the touchline, come on, you know? It's like, uh, are they are they standing right in front of somebody else and they just kick it right off of every time? Yeah, just, just look at your computer like, why? Why? It's, uh... <laughs> why? Uh, yeah, you have like a three on one and the guy goes, I'm shooting right now. This is it. <laughs> so do, you, do you ever, and this is something I'm incredibly jealous of. You are still in the game. You know, the third division of of Germany is still in the game, but I don't know how long you've played. You would have been in the game for years and years. Have you ever played as yourself or signed yourself in FM? I did. Obviously, I did. <laughs> but it, it's uh, like, it always depends because like, I think I'm like the most guys I try to do like, um, start with uh, like a low league team. And then like, let's say like fourth or fifth league in England, you know? And then like, obviously um, within the third league or something like that, I could buy myself. And it always turns out great for a year or so until I get promoted. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> now nah, you gotta go. You know what I mean? It's like, because I, oh man, I'm uh, sorry for my grammar, but I'm like partially pedophile in this game. It's just about youth, man. You know what I mean? Like, If you turn 25, you're gone. <laughs> I, have to, I have to see uh, like a full potential scale, uh, scale, you know? Everything has to be five star. Oh. Yeah, so, you know, I can't, I can't win shit with me. So, but then I just put myself in the reserve team and make him become a coach or something. <laughs> yeah, so I, was, I was like, wait, one, I get in trouble on Twitch all the time because I'll say something like, wow, that no, is I'm a- I'm sorry, man. Hey, I, I curse all the time. In German, we can curse, sorry, No, no, man. no, 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 no. Cur I, I don't mean the cursing. I mean the, pe the the pedophile thing. Like I'm on Twitch, yeah, that's right? What I'm saying. Yeah, I'm on Twitch, and I'm like, wow, that's a good-looking 15-year-old. And then somebody, <laughs> somebody, somebody just cuts that and sends it to me, and I'm like, man, out of context, it's the worst. But to be honest, I had like there was one game. I don't know if it was Football Manager 14 or 15, something like that. There was a dude, crazy, like. So I created my own team. Like I'm from Bremen in uh, Germany, right? Yeah. I created my own team, Bremen something. Was in the Bundesliga already. And then I was about to quit, start a new save, right? That's what I do like every five years in game. Cause I get bored and need a new challenge. Then I like Youth and Tate comes and he's like 14 years old. You can't play, in, you couldn't play in Germany up until you're 17, right? And yeah. this dude came in when he was 14. So he couldn't play for, at least two seasons, I think, two or, f or three. And this guy was the bomb. At like, 14. Long story short, yeah, long story short, as soon as he was eligible, he played. He was, a uh, um, what's it called? If you're like the best footballer in the world, what's the, called? Uh, the, the award called? Uh, uh, it's the Ballon d'Or, right? Well, Or the... Yeah, yeah, exactly. He <laughs> won that shit when he was 21. It was unreal, unreal. He had like as many, 
like Messi numbers, Ronaldo numbers. He had as many ca uh, games as, as goals. It's unreal. So I'll, I'll stick to the game, like another two or three years in game, just to see this dude, you know? I almost tatted him on my arm. It's crazy. Felix <laughs> Alabek. I'll never forget his name. Never. Dude, I, I love that. Like, you just have... I, I feel like I've wanted to do that too. You just like you just want to get a tattoo of this guy because it's the amount of happiness that this this like region has provided. Oh, did, you ever, did you ever get a son? No, I've never gotten a son in the game ever. I, I did it like I did it like two or three times. I got a son, and you know, you like uh, it was in the older versions, right? The 15, 16, 17, or uh, 18, something like that. They yeah. change it now. It's impossible to get them, bro. From my fir very first son, I was at Everton at that time. Yeah. So, um, you know, you have to save scum for that, right? The day before the youth intake, you, you save, right? And then you just like, you know, save and reload and go out and reload. I did that shit, net time, it was like eight hours. Eight hours, so it took me a few days, right? I didn't care, and I finally got him, and he was so crappy, man. He was so <laughs> was terrible. He had, like, he had like a potential of like, three stars and uh i didn't care he, i made him a national team player for the us um and um then i eventually became arsenal coach and i just dragged him over there <laughs> and fans were upset like this is such a bad side i didn't care man i didn't care <laughs> I dragged his ass to he made a fine career man but he was so yeah, yeah it's like <laughs> he's playing in all the league cup matches at arsenal every season just out there I love yeah. that you're the coach of the US team and you're like, you, you're coming over here. So what is your, you, we talked about, I think this before we hit record, but you're playing in South Korea. Um, I was going to ask you like, yeah. what's your favorite tactic is and stuff, but just how's it going in South Korea? Is it... uh, so far I'm like midfield. Like, I, I don't even know, wait a minute, let me check. <laughs> Pull it up real quick. Get uh, a few... We played 14, 14 games. And, uh, I'm actually, no, I'm actually third right now, but uh it's a shit team to be honest, so I don't know. I might, I might look for a new challenge at the end of the season. If I make, if I make it to the uh, what's it called, like the Asian Champions League, then I might stick another year. Other than that, man, I'm a journeyman. <laughs> Open pastures, all out there. Now I, I played in South Korea once. It gets old after a while. I mean, it does it, yeah, because you, with this, there's weird rules like you have to have a Korean keeper. That you're not allowed to have a foreign yeah. keeper, and you can only have four foreign players. Yeah. So you have four foreign players that are like up here and then the Korean three. dudes are... It's three? Oh, yeah, maybe like three and then like another Asian, but who isn't Korean or something like that. That's but it. I don't buy them. Yeah, yeah but, it's like yeah. Uh, you just go get some dude from China or something, but that usually they're not. not yeah, they're not good. So what is your your favorite tactic? Because a, bunch, tactic? Yeah, a bunch of people will watch this video yeah, and they'll be I'm like, gonna... this is cool. He plays FM. What's the advice to give everybody? What's the thing that you're like? You should be doing this. To be honest, I've been playing this game for so many years. I always stick to like one tactic. Always. I'm so boring. It's unreal. So I either play 4-2-3-1 uh, four, or like, you know, with the uh, attacking midfielders and uh, lone striker or like, um, or no, no, no. Mostly it's 1-6 and two central, central midfielders. And if not, I do, if the strikers are that good, then I do 4-2-2. So it's like um, from the back, I don't even care if it's defensive midfielder or central, mid central midfielder, one of those. Two attacking uh, wingers and then uh, a 10. Yeah, and then a striker. Yeah, and it's always like, I think it's new this year, the vertical tiki taka. Yeah. It came uh, this uh, year, I, right? I, on, this on year or last year, it's new. Yeah, so I always do vertical tiki taka. I don't care what the team I'm playing with, they're going to play like Barcelona. <laughs> Always like I found, obviously I play a Red Bull, Red Bull Leipzig, so I'm used to pressing. So it's always pressing, and the first, uh, the first, um, what's it called? The the first thought of everyone is okay, get up front. Don't even do the square passes. It's possession based, but just get a, get a up front as uh, as quickly as possible. And then with you know full gig pressing and everything, and everything short, short passing. The keepers uh, do. Those uh, short kicks, everything, yeah. Yeah, what do you play with mostly? I have, well, this year, I'm using this thing. It's, at the beginning of the year, I was this, I was this terrible, super, uh, here, this is what I have for what I curse on Twitch. I have, it's just a super 
team. Like, just super. Nice. Uh, <laughs> like it. Um, I need a people, man. No, it, yeah. it's, it comes with this, like, fancy, like, you know, streamer audio setup. Is this, like, all these... Yeah, uh, that's nice, man. Yeah, but it's... Uh, we, we played super direct, so the opposite of what you were doing. We had this big 37-year-old Portuguese guy. Yeah. Like, your classic kind of lower league target, man. He couldn't move to save his life, but he was there and we we played off him yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we got we got and so we go very direct and we had two forwards running off him and we got up to the top league now we've really had to change because portugal's very like very skilled um yeah obviously exactly. like they they have a lot of technique a lot of passing and so if i just play super direct it's not going to work anymore and so yeah. it, it kind of a four three three except i do it with two yeah. stri two okay. strikers one winger and then that kind of midfield triangle, which is like a defensive mid and two center mids. And then we just one of the okay. yeah one of the strikers is like a false nine, so he drops off, but he starts high. You know that, that to be honest, man, I think it's so important to have like a crowded midfield, like the center. This year, you get absolutely destroyed if you don't, if you're unable to like mark. If you get outnumbered uh -huh. in the midfield, well, that's that's the meme, uh -huh. right? We're being overrun in the midfield, but it actually matters this year. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've got more than enough for for a video and everything, so I, don't let me uh, don't let me keep you up too much. But honestly, it's been really fun to talk, man. This has been yeah, man. I, I will definitely uh, follow you and uh, and check out your uh, more of your videos, man. So stay healthy, man. Dude, I will, well, shoot, you too. For, I, I sit in a chair all day. You're staying healthy for you is a little bit more, a little bit more important. I dude. play like we got a match tomorrow. Like my coach is looking at me. We had like a bus ride. All he sees is me at, at the computer, man, all the time. Even when we now tomorrow we drive from from the hotel to the stadium. I'm playing football manager. These five minutes, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever gets you going you know no, no, yeah no yeah you're, the rest of the team's getting off the bus you're in the back like it's the 75th minute i'll be I'll, I'll just... no, like these guys are in the tunnel like oh fuck, okay i gotta focus today you know like bad man you gotta feel comfortable that's, what, that's my, my kind of therapy man <laughs> would you say you're in good form on the field if your football manager team is winning no nah, i don't take it that personally but obviously um yeah no, 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 no. It, it doesn't affect me in real life, the, 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 uh, all the results and everything. But it's funny, no, I actually um, got a few few players of mine on the team that are like, yeah, are convinced to play or try out football manager. And then like, you know, our goalkeeper came in like, yo, I started the third in <laughs> Germany. Watch this. I made the playoff uh, playoff spot on the last day. And then like they had like, you know, those releg uh, relegation or playoff uh, battles. And he lost the first leg to the second league team 2-0. I think it was away. Yeah, and he just he made like uh, in the in the second leg game, he drew it extra time and he won it. So oh, those, yes. are, those are the things, right? No, he's like it's crazy. No, oh, that hooks you. When it's like hurting. you're not into football manager until something like that happens. Like I didn't get into it until I won the exactly. champ. I was playing with Celtic and I was just kind of feeling it out. And then we go on this ma miraculous yeah. run in the Champions League and we win it. And the guy that scores the winning goal in extra time is the only Scottish player in the starting lineup. And it was his first goal of the season in the Champions League final. He's a center back that never 112th those are the minute. Stories. Yeah. yeah, those are the stories, man. I, and, I, and I still remember his name. And the funny thing is he's a real player who was just like yeah. a wonder kid when he was 16. Now he plays for like your mother well or something. He's just over yeah. there. Yeah. Hey, that's what I'm saying, man. You don't forget those names, man. Yeah, like if, I, I'm, I, I said, yeah. If, I, if I'm ever in a pub or something in England, because I, I now, once the pandemic ends, we'll go over from time to time for football manager yeah. stuff. And I run into Mark O'Hara. I'm gonna <laughs> lose my mind because Mark O'Hara is my hero and he has no idea. Right, like this, he's walking around somewhere. Yo, having you a... come up, man. Yo. <sighs> yeah, you just go over there, man. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> thank you. What, <laughs> this round's on me. Thank you so much. You have no idea what you've done for me. <laughs> like, well, okay. Uh, when Tw Twitch has these cons in Europe, so I will. I'll be, when I'll be in Europe a lot, and it sounds like if I'm in Germany, I need to come hang out with with the guys that play football manager Hell on yeah, the team. Man. Dude, yeah, that'd be fun. All right. Um, we'll do, man. Yeah. Bye. Keep in touch. Oh, for sure. Yeah. If, if some football manager thing comes up, I got you. 
you get yeah. <laughs> shoot a question my way and i'm like it's my job to know and if i don't then i'm sure i'll, I'll figure it out but thank you and <laughs> Uh, it, it, thank your wife for me for letting you play football manager. I know. She's not going to see that video, man. I'll, I'll make sure she won't. So it's all good. <laughs> Dude. All right. Um, thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Good luck in the match tomorrow. All right. thank you. Bye, man. Bye. See you, man. That was so cool. Oh, my God. That was so cool. Terrence, thank you so much for hopping on. I, I feel like we're, we're going to do more of these with people that you might watch, or certainly I grew up watching Terrence Boyd play for the U.S. national team in the run-up to that World Cup. Uh, it, it, I, I think this is just super cool. Uh, footballers, they're just like us. I'll see you guys in another video. If you haven't already, please check out the Twitch. Stay easy, stay breezy, stay beautiful. And uh, thank you again to Terrence Boyd, man. I played with you on FIFA! Yeah.